Before we get into this three-on-three -three, uh, shell drill, I just want to introduce a new phase of it called the quiet drill. The quiet drill was originated by Doc Rivers of the Boston Celtics, and uh, he had a lot of success in building a team culture that was centered around um, camaraderie. The main thing is no demonstrations, no hand slapping, no communicating on defense. All right, go for it. Quiet, guys, quiet. Not talking forces the kids to rely on their instincts, and you, and you don't always want to do That's that in a game role. because there's not just one person playing, there's five people playing. We gotta keep it quiet out here. We're gonna switch it up here shortly. Good, good. You need to have the understanding that communication is key, and that makes it, makes it easier for you on the floor. Good, good. Now go to when we go from quiet to loud in the drills, I, I felt my own energy pick up in terms of the way we communicate, and you could see it in the drill and in the, in the way they approach things. Uh, I just I feel more comfortable being able to talk rather than you know staying quiet and not talking to my teammates. Yeah, it made it a lot easier. When we started to talk, I felt the energy, and I felt that it was easier, you know, to find players, talk through the defenses. We always want the energy to be up so we can defend better, uh, we can play better together, and also anytime a team makes a run on us, we're able to you know fight that run and then also play much better down the stretch. It's a great way to, to demonstrate how to be unselfish by communicating and how it can make your team uh, more effective on the floor.